Welcome to Oregon! Whoop, 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 whoop! Back in Oregon. I can't tell you how good that makes me feel. <laughs> it's pretty nice. This smells so good here. I wish you guys could smell this. If you've never been to like a dry pine juniper forest. Yeah, we're in the National Forest just west of Lakeview, yeah. Oregon. Kind of south central, I guess. We just saw the National Forest sign and saw a little yeah. road that looks like that. It doesn't look like a road like much, but that's a road. Yeah, that's a road. We see fire pits and so nice. The sun shining. After quite a while through a pretty remote, desolate type country. No trees. No trees, just sagebrush. It's so refreshing. I'm excited <laughs> to see trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the air is different here. Like you actually have air and it's not just a dust bowl, you know. Yeah, so where are we going today? Tell the people. <laughs> well, um, we're going to go up towards Crater Lake. Um, the campground there is closed. It doesn't open up until, I think, June or July, depending on the weather. Um, and uh, the rim road that goes around Crater Lake, um, which I've never been on, is uh, apparently still closed to traffic, but I think it may be open to bicycles and walking. And I know how you like those routes. So it's at 7,000 feet and it's, uh, I guess, a pretty um, good bike ride. And you've never been there. I've never been to Crater Lake. I've been there as a kid. I think the, um, it's a, it's an old volcano yeah. and there's an island in the middle. I think that's called Wizard Island. It's, uh, I've seen a lot of pictures of it. It's beautiful. Yeah. The never... water is so, so blue. Now, some of the time you're not even able to see the water of the island. It's foggy and... They have their own weather system there, I think. But we're, we're heading that way and we'll do some exploring and take you guys along. Back in the snow, what the heck? It's bright. <laughs> <laughs> we just can't stay away from the snow. So this is as far as you can go vehicle traffic. This is Discovery Point on West Rim Drive. So, so excited. <laughs> so this means Dave gets to hop out and get out on the bike and he gets to go clear to the north junction. So the rest, the whole rim drive is not open. So he can go Damn from it. Discovery Point to North Junction and back. So the elevation near us here is 7,100 feet. The elevation of the island in the center of the lake is 6,940 feet. The deepest point in the lake is 1,943 feet below the surface. Wow. That's deep. There's a cyclist. I could have to, I'll okay. catch him. You better get some food in you and get up there. They don't look that fit. <laughs> they don't look that fast. I'll get them. <laughs> I gotta get some food in me. All right.
guess that's the end of the road. Seven miles from the van to here, about half uphill and half downhill, not much flat. But pretty spectacular scenery. My legs are frozen because uh, <clears throat> where the water is running from the snow across the road, um, splashing into my legs and my my uh, socks are soaked, my legs are soaked, and <laughs> it's pretty cold up here, but that's why I'm talking like my, my mouth is kind of numb. But I'd love to come back sometime when the whole 33 mile loop is open and do it, but pretty cool. He's back. Tell me about it. <laughs> it's good. I mean, I'd love to come back and do the whole loop, but I would say if you're going to do that, pack a lunch oh, or yeah. two. It's just, um, I think we're about 7,100 feet here, and it's closed about seven miles up. So that ride was basically a three-mile climb followed by a four-mile fast descent. Followed by a four mile grind, followed by a three mile fast. Yeah, out and back. So basically I climbed, um, in 14 miles I climbed 2,000 feet and descended 2,000 feet. So basically went from 7,100 feet elevation to about 8,100 feet. And then back down and back up to 8,100 and back down. So, and this looks like the whole loop around the lake kind of does that whole thing. Mm -hmm. So it would have been basically twice, a little more than twice than what I did today. Right. 33 mile loop, but yeah, it's... It's pretty cool. There's a handful of walkers. The two bikes that left that we saw went right before yeah. me, um, they must not have went very, very far, far because they were coming back pretty uh, quick. Yeah. And then there was the only other cyclists I saw, and I probably saw, you know, eight or ten walkers. Yeah. Just right. on the just on the beginning part. Yeah. They're not seven miles. Just on my walk a bit. Did you? Did you get a little walk? She did. Did you make some yellow snow? She did. <laughs> <laughs> I think she walked because she was trying to find you. Yeah. Yeah. So, some more info on the lake. The deets. Crater Lake is the deepest lake in the nation. And it is 6.02 miles across at its largest point. She wants, she, she wants you. Yes, I think I said it is 1,943 feet deep at its deepest point. It holds 4.9 trillion gallons of water. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water. So fish. this isn't from a meteor. Uh, this is from an erupted volcano. Now, it's not an extinct volcano, so there is the chance you that... You <laughs> I think it was, was it 7,700 years ago the volcano erupted. And left the crater. That's wild, man. It's. I don't want to be here if it blows again. It's stunning when you're when you're, um, any place you look at the lake. I mean, we couldn't have picked a better day. It is oh, so yeah. calm. There's not even a hint of a breeze. The lake is completely like a sheet of glass, and a reflection between the mountains and the sky and the clouds. It's all one. I love it. Yeah, it was just stunning. Yep. We don't really know where we're going tonight, but we are going to be to the Oregon coast soon. So we either meet you here or there somewhere in between. <laughs> Carry on. Carry on. This still has a lot of snow.